Hello everybody. So today I want to talk about calculus. The topic today is about differential equations. So now I want to show you how to answer. About this one, we need to find about complementary solution and particular solution. So for this one, I will put about SC equals to E to the power of R E to the power of lambda T. Later that we do first the derivative of SC and we have lambda E to the power of lambda T. So if we do first the derivative of this one, we keep the same E to the power of lambda T. Later that we do first the derivative of lambda T, you got lambda in here. Now we go to second the derivative and we have like this but this one we have for the derivative so that should be like this because this is about complementary solution that means this one equals to number zero so I will put this one going here and this one going here. Now we need to do about factorization by e to the power of lambda t. So this one we have lambda to the power of 4 plus 4 equals to number 0. And now we have 4 solution of this one. It should be like this. So we put the 4 root for the both side. So I will show you how to find the solution in here. The first thing we put the square root and we have lambda square equals to positive and negative the square root of negative number 4. We know that this one we can put about the square root of i, oh sorry, the square root of negative number 1 and the square root of number 4. This one that is about i. And we can write like this. Next, we put another square root for the both side. So we have four solutions like this. So this one I can put about S C that's e about C number one e to the power of lambda t so I will put like this C number two that's e about the constant number two C number three And C number four. So the next one that is about particular solu solution. 
we see that we have cosine t. So this one I will put about s b equal to a sin t plus b cos t. So if we do first the derivative of this one, it will be like this. Now, if we repeat the process until this one, and we have like this. So, we have this one. And now, I will put this one going here. This one going here. So we have a sin t plus b cos t. And we have for a sin t plus for b cos t. So we simplify it and we have like this. So we just have only cos t and coefficient of cos t that's about number one. So we have cos t cos t in here. That means phi b equals to number one. We don't have sin t, so phi a equal to number zero. So we have b equal to one over phi a equal to number 0. So we put a and b going here. And we have 1 over 5 cos t. Oh, sorry, s, b, sorry. So this one should be about s, b equals to this one. And now we have s, equal to sc plus sb sc we just have this one in here and sb that is about this one in here This is the end. Thank you for watching.